here somewhere. <sighs> ah! My emergency beer! Last fucking one. Nice and cold. There it is! Shadow of the Oblivious here. Since my last video, I'm kind of just trying to think of new content ideas while I'm, uh, you know, busy working. I'm a hard working Joe, that's for sure. And you're probably wondering why I don't have my shades anymore. My shades bit the shit, so now I have to suffer my lighting on camera, shadeless. Yes! Ugh. I hate it. But, that is not the point of today's video, guys. It was only a matter of time after GameStop decided to experiment with a, uh, I forget the other stores they were doing it at, but, uh, I do remember Birmingham, Alabama, but it was only a matter of time. They are now officially selling retro games from all the way back to NES, all the way up to... Uh, PS1, N64, Dreamcast, uh, Super Nintendo, yeah. I did some, uh, I did some cross-referencing, and, uh, this is what I came up with. Nine times out of ten, their prices on stuff is just fucking, like, either $10 more than what, like, Amazon or eBay would ask for, or it's, like, double that. So, the CEO and all these, you know, masters of the universe of GameStop, yeah, they just put their heads together and yeah, about ten years too fucking late. And they couldn't even get it right. Yeah, their prices fucking blow. Look for yourselves. I guarantee you'll find the same that I did. And these are on fucking common titles as well. Titles the market is just literally fucking saturated with. Okay. Yeah. GameStop, get done fucked up. Holy fucking shit, seriously. You, you couldn't take the two brain cells you had between all you guys and, and just rub them together, get that little fucking spark use what's left of you guys' fucking head meat. Nope. 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 Wonderful business opportunity fucking squandered. That's right. You squandered it. I, I honestly gave him the benefit of the doubt as well as a lot of other people, when they started up this idea a few months back. But no, no, they got to go all ass backwards about it and do it the completely wrong fucking way. <sighs> Just, God, it makes me cringe that
boggles my fucking mind how stupid they went about this. <sighs> I just... This is a rant and a fucking half. I mean, I was almost going to do this for the next episode of the Rant Corner, but... This is just a separate fucking rant all its own. Because I have something special saved for that. And it has to do with Nintendo. And a certain thing that's, uh, well, kind of has to do with one of my favorite Nintendo franchises. And, but that's another story. That's another video. That's completely something different. Uh... Not gonna spoil it. Just know that it has to do with one of my favorite Nintendo franchises of all time. But anyways, back on the subject of GameStop and selling retro games. I mean, it's just ridiculous. And, and I mean, also, for, yeah, the cartridge based games, yeah. You, you're, it's a fucking crapshoot as well. You don't know whether you're going to get a cartridge alone that looks like shit, or a complete in-box item, or just a cartridge and maybe a manual. I don't fucking know. It's a fuck. It, it tells you nothing. It tells you nothing. Also, they're taking... Out of the disc-based games, disc only. Yeah, so that's an even worse crapshoot. Uh, I don't exactly... I mean, I do have quite a few disc-based games, but they've got their own little slip covers, or I've got a replacement case to hold them, protect them from further damage. But I really would like to upgrade these to, like, well, actually, a few of these up here I can't upgrade because they don't have their own case. Like, uh, for example, I don't believe Link's crossbow training here has its, because it was a pack-in with Wii systems. It was a bundle to promote the new, you know, Zapper peripheral. So I don't think I can upgrade this to a full-on case. Anyways, I'm getting off fucking topic again. Fuck that shit. That's another time. Anyways, yeah, it's a fucking real crapshoot. It's just, they went a They blew it. They had a perfect business opportunity, finally breaking into the retro game market and seeing, you know, for what it's worth. And they blew it. In my honest, humble opinion, they blew it. And they blew it, and they blew it. Every fucking turn, they blew it. Either they rub what brain cells they have collectively between them together and get that little spark and stop fucking up and try to fix this and improve this. Or this little experiment of theirs is going right down the shit chute. And I don't think it's going to go any further than the test market. So, anyways, guys, 
opinions, thoughts, shit like that. Look, it's late at night. Uh, I gotta get up early. So I'm gonna end this shit like I end all my shit. As always, nerds, nerdettes, gamers, and weirdos of the web, game the fuck on and party the fuck on. I'm out. Bye!